is based on EMI filter, you may find this kind of devices are present in many appliances. For example, your VGA cable of computer that contains uh, this device, your SDMI cable, then your if you have audio device, specific special audio device also contains this kind of uh, device present, as well as your laptop charger and many more appliances contains this kind of device. This is ultimately EMI filter. It is useful for filter out the noise signal present in the uh, line right so you see uh, when we were having the CRT TV in old days in 90s we were having CRT TVs but nowadays we are using LCD or LED TVs so in that case uh, when we have CRT TV if uh, uh, if some device operated at our home for example mixi or drill machine uh, whenever it is operated for a few minutes right during that time you will find uh, some screen lines are present over the TV that is ultimately coming from EMI that is EMI is known as electromagnetic interference. So this electromagnetic interference is generated due to the uh, operation of few devices that example is like uh, some special motors motors means universal motor that is present in mixi as well as a drill machine whenever the universal motor is operated that contains commutator and brush surface whenever the uh, it is rotated rotor is rotated the brush will uh, brush is fixed in uh, commutator is rotating there there, there there are some sparking it takes place and due to the sparking some noise noise signal are getting entered into the line and neutral wire and sometimes also in the ground wire due to that your sensitive device for example audio device or the TV television device that uh, may be subjected to some kind of disturbances for example over the TV you will find these lines and uh, in audio signal uh, sorry in audio devices for example music system may create some uh, noise signals right so there are two types of EMI one is known as conducted EMI and second is known as radiated EMI conducted EMI is nothing but uh, due to physical contact uh, whenever the line and uh, line wire and phase wire is present and that is connected with some uh, device in our home and the uh, the wiring scheme cause the propagation of this EMI and that is known as conducted EMI radiated EMI, EMI is nothing but a process of induction there is no physical contact is present and uh, example of radiated EMI is uh, like uh, radiation caused by some uh, special devices even we can treat our mobile phone as a radiation device right that is not creating radiated EMI but that is a radiation device so uh, radi uh, low frequencies uh, EMI are known as uh, are very common in uh, conduct, uh, conducted EMI and high frequency signals are present in the radiated EMI as I said mobile phone mobile phone is operating in uh, uh, megahertz in range of uh, megahertz and gigahertz range of frequencies so uh, whenever you have radios that are operating in uh, megahertz and uh, some Wi-Fi and other mobile signals are operating at a gigahertz so that is ultimately again a radiation uh, low frequencies are normally propagated through the line wire which contains the 50 or 60 hertz of uh, frequencies over the 50 hertz or 60 hertz of, hertz of frequency when higher uh, some higher or lower order for example 25 hertz or 100 hertz or 150 hertz of signal is propagated through the line that is known as uh, low frequency signals and that is known as conducted EMI not uh, not always the frequency signal but there may be some spikes of voltage the minor spikes of voltage are propagated through the wire that is again a EMIs right uh, sometimes EMI also present in the ground wire this is the example of uh, both the things one is radiated and second is conducted here the person is operating the drill machine due to that uh, the noise signal is getting entered into the out wall outlet and it passes through the phase and neutral wire it reaches to the television set and that creating the skewing lines right another is uh, radiated EMI this is the example of aeroplane that is about to land over the uh, near uh, over the uh, runway of the airport and there is some device that is passing through the roadside and uh, that is again cause the radiation and this radiation may be received by the uh, aeroplane and that may create a misdirection or miss uh, uh, or maybe uh, creating the dist uh, noise uh, disturbance inside the f uh, uh, inside the aeroplane uh, whatever the uh, signal uh, receiver is there uh, so that they may cause the trouble with the landing of the aeroplane so that's why we need to protect uh, the, uh, all the devices whether it's a uh, conducted EMI or radiated EMI we have to protect the device against such kind of disturbance and uh, to protect the device from the conducted EMI we have to go for EMI filter through the, uh, this device 
through this device it is uh, it will filter out the low frequency noise disturbance that are present uh, in the line wire due to the conducted emi and if you want to protect the device from the radiated emi we have to go for shielding shielding the device okay we will we'll take another lecture on uh, what is called shielding of device that is again for radiated emi so you see this is the example of vga cable that contains the emi filter this is of uh, usb port that contain usb pin that contains the again emi filter this is a charger of some device again having the emi filter uh, inside the if you open the emi filter you will find this um, black color or something is there and this is ultimately a ferrite core this is known as a ferrite core this ferrite core uh, means this line wire and neutral wire or line wire or, or whatever the device not exactly line wire and neutral wire this is a positive and ne negative always because this is operating at a dc voltage so here we have some converter after the converter this uh, wire is pass this positive and negative wire means dc this is ultimately operating at dc so this wire of passing through this uh, filter and uh, this ferrite core and this will filter out the noise signal present in this two wire so this is how the ferrite core looks like so uh, this is the example of tube light right uh, in old days we were having the tube light that contains the magnetic ballast but nowadays we are having the led tube light or maybe we are having the electronic ballast in conventional tube light uh, the tube light means uh, this rod is same that last uh, tube is there but uh, this ballast we have uh, moved from magnetic ballast towards the electronic ballast because that saves the power and uh, another new version is we are having the led tube light that doesn't contain any kind of ballast that contains the converter okay so uh, in the old tube lights uh, when we were having the magnetic ballast it will like it is nothing but an inductor okay now inductor having the property uh, you know the property of inductor right so whenever the current passes through this the, the circuit will be completed like this now the starter is containing the this starter when you open the starter inside the starter you will find these two device one is the this metallic uh, this sorry this glass tube inside the glass tube there is a metallic bimetallic strip is there and this is ultimately a capacitor so this bimetallic strip will cause the opening of the circuit when the circuit is op open out your inductor will release the energy when inductor release the energy you know minus sign will be there in equation so when it releases the energy uh, the somewhat higher energy is going to be released by inductor minus e d phi by dt right so uh, it will not allow the current to change uh, suddenly it will take some time uh, and uh, when it takes some time it means what it release the energy when energy is released it will cause the higher voltage to be applied across this filament similarly that higher voltage may cause the propagation of emi through the line wire and it will reach to the another devices for example tv set or maybe audio set so it will create a disturbance that is again uh, emi right to protect this uh, to to avoid this kind of emi we have to filter out the noise signal and that's why we are providing this capacitor this capacitor act as a emi filter it will absorb all the unwanted noise signal uh, through this capacitor configuration and that's how the we we can't completely el eliminate the emi but we may minimize the effect of emi even though whenever you switch on or switch off the tube light many a times you will find the noise signals are present in our uh, this kind of devices nowadays it will be very rare because we are having the very uh, nicely designed tv set because it, it it built having the emi filter and that's why we are not facing such kind of issues nowadays but if you if you have some local device local manufacturer device like for example audio side you will heard the noise signal whenever your tube light conventional tube light are making or breaking the circuit right so this is the reason why we are having the emi filter provided in many devices that you might not notice till now but whenever you see any device you will find emi filters especially whenever the device is very sensitive against this kind of noise signal that are always protected against the emi whether it's a radiated emi or conducted emi this is again the example of uh, market in market this kind of emi filters are available uh, if you have some special configuration of you if you are working on some project and you want to filter out the noise signal you can go through this kind of uh, readily available manufacturer device right uh, again if you want to protect your device from the radiation you can go for the shielding shielding is simply a kind of cage is created inside the cage the device is kept and that's how the device is protected against the uh, radiated emi so that's it uh, if you have again um, few more question you can post i will answer that in upcoming videos thank you